Hello everyone. So today let us talk about uh, cascade select list. Now, cascade select list is uh, nothing but a field, a select list field in Jira where uh, based on the selection of uh, the parent drop down, the child drop down options will be filtered for you, for you. And this is of course useful because uh, there are situations where you where you need to do this. And uh, a simple example would be, let us say, you want to list all the cities in uh, various countries. So your first level drop down would have uh, countries, and the second level drop down could be all the cities. And I know, to to be honest, it it would be like a big list. But just to give you an example, and what I have done here is I have uh, this uh, cascade select list, which is very simple. Let us say the first level is parent A, B, and C. And uh, within parent A, I have options like A1, A2, and common. Within parent B, I have B1, B2, and common, and uh, C1, C2, common, right? So basically, common is one second level option, which is uh, common. Now, the problem is, not a problem, but it is not very obvious for new Jira users to search for uh, all the issues related to common or based on basically second level, but uh, it has to be for a specific parent. So this is something that we can do, but... Uh, jql is not very obvious when it comes to you know searching based on cascade select list so let me show you what you need to do you just you just need to use the name of the field in this case it is cascade select list and you have to basically uh, do something like this equal to uh, parent so if you select here parent uh, this is of course uh, my first part based on option number one but if i want to further narrow it down by let us say a1 I can do and and I can just do cascade select list is equal to a1. So basically you have to do it twice. I know it is annoying, but it works. So just live with it. So this is something that you need to do. And you need to do it for uh, these two because if you do something like uh, common, in this case, this will return me all the issues where uh, the option common is selected under parent A. But if you do just uh, this, it will give you the all. If, if it will give you all the issues where common is selected, but irrespective of the parent. So this is something that you need to as long as the uh, common value is unique. Uh, but anyways, in this case, it is not. It is like shared across. I'm not really sure, but the name is same. So I thought I'll probably talk about this because you may want to you may want to do something similar. And I'm sure you know if you're using cascade select list you will eventually reach a point where you need to search on it. I mean, it could be that you may want to have your, uh, let us say, swim lanes on your board based on the second level, right? So you can do that using this. Anyways, short video, but hopefully, hopefully it will help you. I mean, not hopefully, it will definitely help you. And that is it. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Bye-bye.